G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Now the last acrylic pour I did, I did that uh, triple rainbow sort of ring pour and I've still got some paint left in here. So I thought while I've still got a mess around, I just changed the piddle pad, but while I've still got a mess around, I grabbed this canvas. It's an old one that um, I don't even know where, where what I'd what I was doing with it, but it was up on the shelf and I thought, yep, that should do. So let's just do another ring pour. I'll pop some black on the corners. I'm not going to put black everywhere like I did with the last one because I, I don't need to have the black between each ring like I did on that other one. Um, I can't show you at the moment because I've only just done it and it's wet. It's over on the drying table, so I don't want to pick it up. But we'll just pop some black on the corners like that and that way if we don't end up having paint all the way over if there's not enough um, that's fine and I'll, I'll touch up the sides later right so uh, we have these are all Montmartre they are the navy cerulean uh, medium yellow because there's also a lemon yellow but it's quite bright orange and then crimson red so the last one I did quite big rings uh, maybe we'll just do I don't know, we'll see what happens. I don't even know how much paint we've got left over. But anyway, let's just do this and um, see what happens. Look at that. I love doing ring, ring paws. They're so pretty. So you can make your rings quite tight, make them quite small. Try and get down, if you're doing these, try and get down as low as you can to the canvas. Otherwise, if you lift up your cup quite high, the paint will kind of wiggle and wobble. So you're better off getting nice and low. That way you can make a really pretty ribbon, like a fold on top of a fold. Just keep going until your cup of is empty. <laughs> and then you can catch the little last drips or tail with your finger if you can, trying not to stick your finger in your paint, of course, on the canvas. Gosh, there's more in here than I thought. That's okay. And then as it gets less and less in the cup, you'll find that you'll have to go slower and slower. And I think I'll just kind of finish there, kind of tip back a little bit enough to get a finger in and just catch that drip right so that's a five chamber flip uh, flip cup five chamber split cup they're everywhere now everyone's selling them um yeah ebay amazon etsy wherever you like now i i particularly don't really like to torch um, because I find that if there's any bubbles in there, they'll pop and then I'll end up with these little dots. So I, I'm not going to. So let's first of all just do a big round circle. Stretching that paint out. And then like I said, if you decide you want to keep the black on the corners, then so be it. And you may want your center to be off center like that. Or if you want to, you can bring it back to the middle. I've got a blob in there. I'm just going to leave it in. There's, there's something in there. Oh, never mind. So I'm having to stretch this quite a lot to cover the canvas. So I may... Let's see, I may leave the black corners. Let's see what that looks like. Put a little bit more black on there and go down the sides. Or if you wanted to really stretch it out, your rings, uh, then of course you can and you'll have colour going over your corners as well. Just doing this while I'm thinking about what I want to do basically gives you a bit of time to think about what you want to do there's no rush with acrylic pouring you don't have to get it done 
fast. You've got time to think about, you can stand back, you can have a look, come back to it, have a think about what you want to do. I am just wetting the sides because it makes the paint flow better over the edges anyway. And this is just, um, it's my pouring medium for this one, if you didn't see my other video, the pouring medium is my 60-40, so 60% Elmer's glue oil, 40% water, and then I just mix that equal parts, one to one pouring medium to paint. The black, I did make a little bit thinner because I wanted it to be my flow extender um, and just make everything flow a little bit better. So it was like one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. All right. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay. I'll get this over because I've got that weird little shape there. It's going to go pretty slow now. There's not much paint left on the surface. Stretch it out and I'll hold on from underneath. What you may want to do is kind of um, maybe go over one or two corners and then leave the other two black as well. That looks really pretty. It looks more abstract. Now it's going, taking the weight of the paint back to the middle. Let's see how far it wants to, to travel. Mind getting over there a little bit more. I'll hold on to. Oh, how can I? What can I do to show you? Let's see. We'll put it this way. That way we're tilting towards the same. Hey? Just want to come down here a little bit. I take it over that corner, and then I've got two corners covered and two corners not covered. And of course, the more you stretch the more you open those rings up. Oh look, I've got a bit of canvas there that I've missed. It's taking the weight of that paint back to the center again. Oh, okay, yeah, I like it like that. Two corners black and two corners not black. All right, let's just fix this up a little bit more. I can see some bits of canvas there that need a little bit more paint. Make sure it's gone over the edge. Take your stick around. And then I'm just going to use my stick just to go around, pick up all the drips from the bottom. Again, make sure that you go right around with your stick instead of over the top. Okay, <laughs> there we go. A little quick short video. Quick short video. Now, do I want to do any more? Do I want to do any more? It's just a little tiny bit on the bottom there that's bothering me. No, that's not the side that I wanted to go off. It doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. It was just down the bottom towards me, but I'll bring it back again. Bring the weight of the paint back again. Shame about my little blobby bit in the centre, but what can you do? Hey, what can you do? These things happen. All right, now, like I said, I'm not going to torch because I don't want to be popping bubbles and making little dots. All right, let's have a little look. Going for a close-up. Look at that. I love using a nice thick paint because you get the definition of your of your lines, of your rings. Look at that, we've got a bit of green happening in there. And then up here we've got the look at that. Oh, that's so pretty, those colours together. The red going into the blue. The yellow coming into that cerulean blue, making, making that beautiful green.
and there as well the orange and the yellow going into that cerulean blue so yeah really pretty so there you go just a quick little video with some leftover paints so thank you for watching <laughs> hope you enjoyed that it's very sort of galactic isn't it <laughs> looks like a wormhole all right I don't know what wormhole is, but anyway. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed my little quick video. And I will see you real soon for the next video. Okay, take care. Bye for now.